Hi everyone, welcome to Chemicals Academy. So we were discussing bio-inorganic topics and this video is for metalloenzymes. So what is an enzyme? It is a biological catalyst. And what is a catalyst? It is a substance which increases the rate of a reaction. So metalloenzymes are enzymes or biological catalysts which increases a rate of reaction and that enzyme contain a metal atom. So we are going to see two metalloenzymes, two important metalloenzymes that are carboxypeptidase A and carbonic anhydrase. So these two metal atoms contain a metal that is zinc. Is there a 2 plus in plus 2 oxidation state? So zinc is the metal atom in carboxypeptidase A and carbonic anhydrase. Now we will move on to carboxypeptidase A first. So what is carboxypeptidase A? A zinc metal enzyme, metallo enzyme. And the function of carboxypeptidase A is used for hydrolysis of protein chain. So hydrolysis of protein chain is the main function of carboxypeptidase A. And mainly the C terminal will be hydrolyzed. And we will see what is C terminal and N terminal. And another point is molecular weight of carboxypeptidase A is 34,600. 34,600 is the molecular weight of carboxypeptidase A. And it is used for hydrolysis of protein chain, C terminal chain. An active site structure of carboxypeptidase A contain two histidine groups, oxygen from glutamate and Sink is tetrahedrally coordinated to three amino acids and one position is vacant. So this is the structure of active structure of carboxypeptidase A. Here the sink is the metal atom and it is coordinated to two histidine groups and oxygen of glutamate. This is glutamate CH2CH2COO minus. So this is the glutamate structure and it is the oxygen of glutamate is coordinated to sink. And this is a protein portion. And this protein portion contains 307 amino acids. We know protein is made up of amino acids. So this protein chain contains 307 amino acids. And this point should be noted. 307 amino acids are present in carboxypeptidase A. And another point is the sink is tetrahedrally coordinated to 3 amino acids, 2 histidine oxygen from glutamate and one position is vacant and Israel is in plus 2 oxidation state and zinc is electrophilic in nature and the protein chain is nucleophilic in nature so this will uh, form a reaction center so zinc is electrophilic in nature and protein chain is nucleophilic in nature and the reaction is between Israel 2 plus and carbon in oxygen and another point is this structure is uh, egg like structure. Egg like structure. The structure of carboxypeptidase is egg like structure. Uh, this will form like this. This looks like an egg. So, carboxypeptidase A is used for hydrolysis of proteins. Molecular weight is 34,600 and the coordination size are satisfied by. 2 histidine groups, 3 amino acids, 1 position is vacant and oxygen from glutamate. And the protein portion contains 307 amino acids and it looks like an egg-like structure. And now we will see the C-terminal chain and N-terminal chain of protein and the main function of carboxypeptidase A. So the function of carboxypeptidase A is hydrolysis of protein chain that is C-terminal chain. And this is a uh, general structure of a protein chain and here we can see amino acids, three amino acids that is NH2. The general formula of amino acid is NH2, CHR, COOH. A carboxylic group is present also amino group. NH2 and COOH is present in an amino acid that we know. So this is a protein chain which contains NH2, CHR, COOH is an amino acid uh, and when this is connected we will get like this. So from here, this is one amino acid and this is another and this is third one. So one, two, three. Here three amino acids are uh, combined to get a protein chain. 
uh, this is for taking as an example. So now we, when we add carboxypeptide is A, what happens? The C terminal will be hydrolyzed. And what is C terminal in an amino acid or protein chain? The COOH, the carbon, the carboxylic acid group containing end will be C terminal. This is C terminal. And this is N terminal. N. N terminal. So amino group containing side is N terminal and carboxylic group containing uh, side is uh, C terminal. So we know carboxypeptidase A will hydrolyze the C terminal chain. So this is now the this is end. So we will hydrolyze from this position. So adding OH and H. That is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of C terminal. So what will be the product? NH2, NH2, CHR and CO, NH, CHR. Then COOH, COOH and the rest compound will be NH2, CHR, COOH, CHR, COOH. So this will be the product. The C terminal is hydrolyzed using carboxypeptidase A and that is shown here. This is another example. This is a protein chain which contains 3 not 7 amino acids. So, proline, leucine, glutamic and phenylalanine. So, when we add carboxypeptidase A, what happens? The C terminal will be hydrolyzed. That, then we get proline, leucine, glutamic. From here, the hydrolysis takes place. So, phenylalanine is separately uh, performed. So, the function of carboxypeptidase A is it cleaves C terminal amino acid of protein. It cleaves C terminal amino acid of proteins. That's the main function of carboxypeptidase A. And the metal atom is zinc metal. Now we will see carbonic anhydrase. So now let's move on to carbonic anhydrase. And I already said carbonic anhydrase also contains zinc as a metal atom. And it is a metalloenzyme. So the function of carbonic anhydrase is to convert carbon dioxide to carbonyl. So CO2 to HCO3 minus that is carbonyl. So conversion of carbon dioxide to carbonyl is the uh, use use of carbonic anhydrase. And the anti-site structure of carbonic anhydrase contain zinc as a metal atom and three histidine groups and one OH or uh, hydroxy ion. So the zinc is the metal atom and it is in plus 2 oxidation state. And another point is molecular weight of carbonic anhydrase is 30,000. And we have seen the carboxypeptidase at 34,600 and here it is 30,000. And nucleophilic OH of enzyme attract electrophilic carbon of carbon dioxide. So nucleophilic OH of enzyme will attack the carbon of carbon dioxide. That is the reaction centers of carbonic anhydrase. And bonding power of zinc towards halide ion is first iodine, then bromine, chlorine, chloride, and fluoride. Iodine, bromine, and chloride, and fluoride. And the free zinc 2 plus uh, binding is reverse in order. So this zinc will connect or bond to halide. Uh, more in iodine, then bromine, then chlorine and fluorine. But free isidin, just free isidin, free isidin will attack fluorine more. So the order for free isidin 2 plus is fluorine first, then comes chlorine, then comes bromine, then iodine. For fluorine, the bonding with free isidin zinc is more for fluorine. And for bonding power of zinc towards halide for carbonic anhydrase is more for iodine, then bromine, then chlorine, then fluorine. So this is the uh, difference between bonding power of free isidin 2 plus and that of carbonic anhydrase isidin zinc. So the main function of carbonic anhydrase is 
conversion of carbon dioxide to carbon in type of CO2 to HCO3 minus and we will see the function and this is the structure active structure of carbon anhydrase which contain zinc as a metal atom and three histidine groups and a OH. So we will see the conversion of carbon dioxide to carbon type. Move to the function of carbonic anhydrase that is conversion of carbon dioxide to carbon ion. So this is the active site structure of carbon anhydrase which contains zinc as the metal atom and three histidine groups and connected to OH that is hydroxide ion. And the, this active site structure will attack the CO2. How? The nucleophilic OH will attack electrophilic carbon of carbon dioxide. So this is nucleophilic OH and this will attack the carbon of CO2 and this electron will shift it to oxygen. So oxygen will get a minus charge and this will form a bond and this oxygen will get a positive charge because it is donating electron to carbon. So the structure becomes zinc, three histidine groups, oxygen get positive charge and bonded to carbon, then C double two two, then O minus. Now what happens? The H will eliminate as H plus. So this positive charge is cancelled. That is shown here. O C double O two. Then this H plus can attack here. So this becomes OH. Now what happens? This can be shifted to here and a OH minus will attack this sink. OH minus is attacking this sink. sink. So this bond is electron to shifted to oxygen. So oxygen will get negative charge. So what will be the product? Three histidine groups, swing, sink and OH. And the rest of the compound is what? H, three oxygen and a carbon. That means HCO3 minus. So HCO3 minus is the byproduct that is shown here. Three histidine groups sink OH and HCO3 minus. So we are converting CO2 to HCO3 minus using carbonic anhydrase. So this is the main purpose of carbonic anhydrase that is conversion of CO2 to HCO3 minus carbonate ion. So we discussed carboxypeptidase A and carbonic anhydrase. Both are metalloenzymes and both contain zinc as the metal atom. And carboxypeptidase A is used for hydrolysis of protein chain and carbonic anhydrase is used for converting CO2 to HCO3 minus that is carbon dioxide to carbonate ion. And the molecular weight of carboxypeptidase A is 34,600 and carbonic anhydrase is 30,000. And the function of these were discussed, the structure, active site structure of carboxypeptidase A and carbon anhydrase were discussed. So that's all about these two metalloenzymes. And metalloenzyme is biological catalyst which contain metal atom. And zinc is the common metal atom in both enzymes. So if any points were missed, you can comment under this video.